So what is happening here is video from a high-speed phantom camera is collected and the true video size here is shown on the left which is 1280 um, by 960. And what's going on is that video has been scaled and shown on the right. So this shows the effect of upscaling high-speed video. And in certain applications, this is a really great solution for getting a bigger picture from a smaller uh, sensor size. And keep in mind that when a high-speed camera is collected, uh, it's going to collect a small image at a very fast frame rate. So here is a 1024 by 768, and it's been upsized to uh, 4K. And in this case, the 4K is 3840, 2160 high. So that upsizing isn't bad, and it would work here for an application where you want a larger image, and you've collected this a smaller image. Here the image is collected at 6300 frames per second. So this upscaling works pretty well. Um, even for 4K applications. Now, you're not going to use this for theatrical release, but still, it looks pretty good for just general scientific footage, um, which you might be wanting to show or, or measure something. And here's the last little clip, which is uh, 512 by 512, and it's at 14,000 frames per second. And it's been upsized also to this uh, 4K, and it's not bad. It would work for an application where you needed to show some rain or to um, um, have a much larger image. Keep in mind the aspect ratio is a little wonk. If you were going to collect these kinds of images, you'd want to make sure your aspect ratio was correct. It works and it's not bad. Um, it's a great way to get a bigger sized image from a relatively small high-speed shot.